Ahoy, me hearties! Hello, Snowy Owls, it's me. I'm in the river, as you can see. I'm going to read you a pirate, a pirate story today. So, I thought I'd put my pirate costume on and bring my pirate flag. And it's not quite a pirate ship. It's a, it's a kayak. Hopefully I won't float away. If I do, you'll have to come with me. Are you ready? The story's called Pirate Pete's Taught Like a Pirate and it's by Kim Kennedy. Pirate Pete had the most amazing ship ever to sail the high seas, but he needed a crew. Not all, any old crew would do, however. I needs me a pirate crew, Pete told his parrot, and I know just where to find one, Rascal Island. To Rascal Island we go, cried the bird. Pete spun the wheel towards the sea of mischief and soon his speedy ship had reached Rascal Island. I'm floating away. <laughs> Yeah. Pete dropped anchor in the bay and then he hung a sign across the ship's bow, Buccaneers wanted. Before long, a boat filled with rascals rowed up to the ship. Pete rubbed his hands in glee. They were the dirtiest, most mischievous and sneakiest looking scallywags and scurvy dogs he'd ever laid his eyes on. Mm. One by one, the rascals climbed aboard the ship. Listen up, mateys, announced the parrot. If you want to sail with Pete, then you've got to prove your guts what it takes. Pete nodded and declared, you needs a peg leg and an old eye patch, a fierce looking hook and a beard you can scratch. You guts to load a cannon and know how to fire it. But most of all, you guts to talk like a pirate. A rascal stepped forward, loaded the cannon and fired it. Nice firing, said Pete. And I sees you guts a peg leg hook and eye patch. And that beard of yours, does it hanker for a scratch? Uh, it is quite itchy, answered the man, especially during the summer when the weather tends to be sultry. Blow me down, bellowed Pete. You don't talk like a pirate. What the blank? As the man splashed overboard, Pete hollered, you should have said, when the sun's a blazing, my beard gets the itches, worse than a bucket of sand down me britches. Next, ordered the parrot. Pete squinted at the rest of the rascals and said, You guts to be stubborn and mighty cranky. You guts to be dirty and awful stanky. You guts to load a cannon and know how to fire it. But most of all, you got to talk like a pirate. A rascal stepped forward, loaded the cannon and fired it. Nice firing, said Pete, and I see that you're plenty dirty and stanky. But is you stubborn and cranky? Oh, indeed, replied the rascal. Sometimes I'm very irritable, especially when I don't eat my breakfast. Shiver me timbers, shouted Pete. You don't talk like a pirate. What the plank? As the rascal went overboard, Pete cried, You should have said, I's as mean as a shark that's stuck in a tub when I've not scarfed me morning grub. Next, squawked the bird. Pete glared at the rascals and said, You guts to love treasure. Why, it's your duty to plunder ship and shore for gleaming booty. You guts to load a cannon and know how to fire it. But most of all, you got to talk like a pirate. A rascal stepped forward, loaded the cannon and fired it. Nice firing, said Pete, and judging by the golden rubies you're flaunting, I reckon you've done some plundering in your day. That is correct, said the rascal. I've misappropriated a number of fine jewels without permission. Blowy me, cried Pete. You don't talk like a pirate. Walk the plank. As the rascal leapt overboard, Pete shouted, You should have said, I pilfered loot on land and sea, and no man's say so has ever stopped me. Next, blared the parrot. Pete shook his head. He had finally lost his patience. He curled up his lip at the last rascal and declared, You guts to trim the sails and mind the deck. You guts to be brave in case of shipwreck. You guts to load a cannon and know how to fire it. But most of all, you got to talk like a pirate. The rascal walked forward, loaded the cannon and fired it. Nice firing, said Pete, but is he brave? Because no lily-livered seafarer is going to sail with me. 
I can assure you that I am extremely courageous, said the rascal. I will conduct myself with valour at all times. Confounded, shouted Pete, stomping his foot. You don't talk like a pirate. Walk the plank. As the rascal dropped overboard, Pete yelled, You should have said I'm not a yellow-bellied bone from me head to me toes. I'll stand brave upon this ship wherever she goes. Can you believe it? Pete moaned to his parrot. Out of all them rascals, not a one was fit for me crew. Tis true, squawked the bird. By the powers, they're no more than a bunch of swiffies and sprogs. None of them fit to go a swashbuckling and plundering for the pieces of eight upon the briny blue on this here vessel. Pete blinked. Why, you talk just like a pirate. Yet he cheered to the bird. You're all the crew I needs. Weigh anchor. Aye, aye, said the parrot, and off they sailed, back to the high seas, where Pete and his bird, a pirate always gets the last word. They looked for a crew so they could hire it. But blimey, none could talk like a pirate. Oh, I like that story. Hope you liked it, Snowy Owls. I don't think I've got much voice left. And unless I uh, sail away down the river and don't come back, I'll see you again tomorrow for another story. Bye. Here I come. <laughs> Lovers. See you tomorrow. Arr.